talk about the weather, but first, you know, this morning we wanted to take a closer look at a program that helps students on the edge improve their grades, attendance, and graduation rates. So Tim Niffen, Program Director for the Edge in Schools program, and Nelson Garbett, he is an in-school coach with middle with Truman Middle School in Tacoma, and you do a whole lot more than that. But first, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how the Edge Foundation helps train teachers and um, school counselors and administrators how to coach kids? Sure, Amity, thanks. Um, so a lot of people are familiar with the whole concept of a life coach these mm -hmm. days. Yeah. These are people who help you make better decisions, decide where you wanna go in life. And so what the Edge Foundation based here in Seattle um, has been doing for the last 15 years is training schools and school personnel with those same skills as a life coach. So it's helping students navigate their way through school and then even more importantly outside of school and making better decisions. Okay, that's brilliant. I never would have thought a life coach for kids, that's but it. for students that's Im that's impressive. That's yep. wonderful. You know, Tim, he told me, he honestly said he's like I'm the administrator, Nelson is the man on the ground. <laughs> so tell us how does this help in kids? Well, it's very important to kids. It's the invaluable part because it's empowering students. So it's giving them an opportunity to really have choice and decisions in what they're making. And because they're invested and they're the ones making these choices and decisions, we're having an opportunity in each coaching session to really look at those goals and actions and how they affect them. And then when we review those things, we're able to kind of see, like I said, how to make changes and how to help them be successful in the future. But the biggest part is, is that they're thinking of those goals mm -hmm. and those actions, so they're more invested because they care about what actually is happening. So that's the biggest factor in this, is that they're invested and they're thinking of them. Yeah, I mean, that's really true, because it's you're not just telling them, do your work, do your work, that's do right. your work. That's right. You're saying, let's figure out a way to do this and make it better. Mm -hmm. exactly. um, my five-year-old just started school, by the way, so I'm learning this the slow way, slow and steady. Have you seen any examples, or I mean, not examples, but have you seen some results or what have you seen? Well, a lot of the results I've seen, like you said, um, each year I do an end of the year report and so far each year I've seen growth in academics, GPAs have improved as well as attendance, as well as a reduction in the behavior incidents each year. So I've seen the example each year of how kids have drastically improved in each one of those three areas. Um, do you have like a special story? Uh, I actually do. Um, I actually have a story of a student that I just started working with or I worked with early in, this, early in the program and it's a young man. He's an eighth grade boy and um, this student really wasn't engaged in school. Grades were struggling, um, struggled with really focusing. Mm -hmm. um, but when he started the EDGE program we actually had the opportunity to kind of figure out what he wanted to do and some of his future goals and aspirations and he told me he wanted to be in the Special Forces U.S. Army Green Beret. Wow. And uh, yeah, that's what I said. I was like, that's awesome. So once he told me that, we actually started to focus on that and kind of see what it took to get to that point. And um, we started to do that research and he was able to do a lot of research and he started to kind of find out that that's kind of the cream of the crop. So yeah. he came into a coaching session and he said, I have to do better, coach. <laughs> and um, with that being said, we started, I asked him, what do you mean by better? And um, like I said, he struggled academically. And he um, basically shifted his focus because he's seen that he had a new drive and motivation. Mm -hmm. He's seen that that was the cream of the crop to be part of that elite force. Oh, wow. So he changed his focus and he started to really emphasize more on academics and grades. And he had a drastic increase from his GPA from being from a 1.5 to a 3.5. High five on that so, yes. one. <laughs> that was <is> awesome. awesome. <laughs> Well, we ran out of time, unfortunately, but where can people find out more, like what schools are involved in this? Is there a website we can go to? We are in about 30 schools across uh, the state, and uh, our website is edgefoundation.org, and we're based right here in Seattle. Oh my goodness, what a great resource you're providing for so many kids. I mean, wow, thank you so much, Tim Nelson, for being here this morning. We really appreciate it. You bet. Well, Jordan, I'm going to...